Uh, let's transition over, though, before we wrap up. Major League Baseball is also kicking off this week. Um, I know you have high hopes for your Yankees. They played a game against my Mets, like a, a spring training game. You guys won. Don't, don't listen. First of all, I'm going to say this before I pass it over to you because I know, I know where you're going with this, all right? Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited because last time I checked, uh, DeGrom wasn't pitching, Strowman wasn't pitching, Mats wasn't pitching. You guys beat up on Rick Porcello, a guy who's probably going to be coming out of bullpen. However, you guys do have high aspirations this year of, of going to a World Series. How excited are you that we look like we're going to get baseball? You know what? I'm very excited, you know, and not, and not that because – I kind of, I kind of lost a little bit of my, you know, of my just that rah rah ready for the baseball season to start, you know, just because I didn't like what the Yankees were doing um, after um, the last uh, World Series win, you know, maybe for like five or six years I just didn't really like what they were doing, so it was kind of taken away from me um, because you know I'm a baseball fan, but I'm a Yankees fan. So whereas to with basketball or football, I'm gonna probably watch every game no matter who the team is playing. I mean, you know, I might, I might not watch, say, the, the Jazz versus Spurs or something like that because I feel like it might be a boring game. But for the most part, I'm watching all of those games. With baseball, it's I'm watching all of the Yankee games. Um, I, might, I might get a couple of Dodgers games in. And if the Mets are on, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'll check in and just to see, you know, what's going on, just so I can come back on the show and talk to Smack if they're losing. But other than, other than that, you know what I'm saying, like it's, it's all about the Yankees. Um, until the playoffs start. And if, once the playoffs start, then I'm watching everybody. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I'll just keep tabs on the stats and who's doing what, who's where. I always want to, you know, I keep tabs on the on all of the award races and, and stuff like that. Um, but the past, you know, maybe four years, I've really been getting back into, like, the, I've, I've been loving what uh, Brian Cashman has done with the team and how they finally got younger and went back to trusting the farm system. Because the Yankees had one of the greatest farm systems, you know, in the in the in the in the nineties and in the early two thousands. So where where you got five, you know, damn their first ballot Hall of Famers coming out of the Yankees farm system and you know, uh five World Series championships out of that core group of Jeter, uh Mariano, Jorge Posada, Bernie Williams. You know, these guys came from the Yankee farm system. I think Cano was probably the last of the guys to come out of that Yankee farm system to where it's like, yeah, they know what they're doing. But now, you know, coming back around to, like I said, four or five years ago, where you see Aaron Judge, um, you know, you, you see you see Ursula German, all of these guys that have been, the Yankees have been grooming and they're finally getting back to that, it's made me really – get back into my Yankee, you're like, I got to get a new Yankee fitted every season just to, like, you know, that's, yeah, we run we run baseball. We always have, always will type of thing. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, the little, the little victories, like, you know, the summer camp victory we got yesterday over the over the Mets always make me feel good inside because I'm not going to come on the show, talk a little bit of smack to you about it. Um, but I, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. I, the Yankees are one of the favorites to be in the World Series this year and to win the World Series. So, you know, I'm always looking forward to that because I'm still waiting for the, 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 the chance to really talk my smack and say, hey, Yankees have more rings than there are teams in the league. That's what I'm waiting for, you know? So I got to get to that moment. So it starts with this season. I feel you. I, I will say this. Um, as a diehard Mets fan, I do have a respect and appreciation for that, that mid-'90s, early 2000 Yankee squad, as you mentioned, the Jitas, Mariano's, Posadas, um, you know, Paul O'Neill, Tino Martinez, because it was built the right way. You know, it was built through the farm system and then strategic planning on free agents, um, as opposed to the years that, you know, followed that of, let's go get Jason Giambi, let's go get Alex Rodriguez, you know what I'm saying? So I, I do have a, a great appreciation for those earlier Yankee teams. Um, I will say this this edition of the, that Yankee squad might be one of your best. Um, now, will they live up to the potential? You know, only time will tell. But when you look at the young talent that you guys have all over the field, it is truly one of your best creations as an organization. Um, and when you guys traded uh, Chapman a few years ago and got all those prospects and then was able to bring Chapman back, you know, that added to it. Um, I'm excited for this season, though, because I do think that 
at some point, baseball has to transition to a point of playing less games. 162 games is just a very long season. And yes, you love baseball. I love baseball. But if we speak to most of our friends, most of our colleagues, they'll say, man, I'm not watching all that. Nine innings every day through the course of a summer is a very long season. However, to, to hear that it's going to be 60 games, I think I'm, I'm, I'm excited by it as well. Because I think we're going to see some of the best baseball you can see in a short amount of time. I'm also excited about it because this is the first time that we, we're going to get an opportunity where we're going to see baseball, basketball, and football kind of all coinciding at the same time. So as sports fans, every day there's going to be something to tune into. Every day there's going to be something to keep our excitement. So I'm looking forward to it. As a Met fan, I'm excited as well. Uh, aside from Noah Syndergaard, we're pretty healthy. This break has helped us because now we get Cespedes back. Um, Cano got a chance to get a break. Cano was playing well for us last year before he started getting hurt as well. So I'm excited too. I'm not putting too much stock into the spring training game we played against you guys. Not because we lost. I don't want to make it seem because we lost. But again, as I mentioned, uh, we threw out there a pitcher that we know he's not going to start games for us. Yeah. And, and same thing with you guys. You guys threw out some guys out there that, listen, get them some opportunity to play because everybody just wants to get as healthy as possible going into the season. Um, yeah. But, you know, you guys have a couple of the big bats. We have some big bats. I'm excited to see Pete Alonzo again. Um, I'm excited to see if, if Cespedes is truly healthy. Back to the rookie of the year. Right. You know, I'm, I want to see if, if, if Cespedes is healthy. I want to see, you know, can Cano bounce back? And Jeff McNeil, who was our second baseman last year, had a chance for a batting title. And, and DeGrom, can he win three straight Cy Youngs? You know, which is unprecedented. So you guys got, you know, Garrett Cole, a guy who's coming over who is probably the best pitcher in the American League. So I think there's a lot of excitement. But we do got to also bring up a point um, that could – you know, temper our excitement a little bit is the Toronto Blue Jays. They have not gotten the authorization to host games. Do you feel that could affect this season? Um, it, it does have the potential to, but they'll find a, another location for them to play. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I mean, I know the, the season is fast. I mean, we, I mean, we're here <laughs> pretty much. We're, we're actually here. But yeah, but the, but the league will work that out. I, I'm not too concerned about that. This this stadiums because it's not like the fans were coming to these games anyway, you know. Um, so it's just a matter of actually finding a stadium that's available and that can fit the the schedule that they have. So I'm, I'm sure the league will, will work it out. And you know, the, the the fans thing. That's one thing with baseball that I'm actually saddened by. Because for me, with baseball, it's more fun being at the games. And I try to get to a couple of games every season. You know, it's nothing like Yankee Stadium, um, the Hard Rock Cafe, and, and just that, that environment, that atmosphere. There's nothing like it in the world. So for, for me, that one, that kind of is like, ah, that kind of sucks. Because, you know, you being out there with your friends and whatnot, your family, you know, taking my nephews to go see a game. You know, I just, I, I, I'm going to miss that. If we don't, if we're not able to get that this season, um, but yeah. But other than that, but in regards to, to 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 the to the Blue Jays, the league will figure it out and we'll we'll move along with schedule. Hopefully, you know everyone can stay safe, the players can stay safe and healthy, and eventually we'll we'll be done with this whole coronavirus. Yeah, I I do agree with you on a point of I always encourage those who aren't fond of baseball to go watch a game live because I think the experience live is. 1000% better than watching it at home at home. It seems very quiet. Um, it seems, you know, it, it seems very just slow, but when yeah, you're at a game, yeah, it, it, it seems when you're at a game and you hear the fan interactions and the music in between at bats. And then, like you said, you know, getting food or getting drinks. Um, I take my, my oldest daughter to at least one game every year and she loves it, you know, to go get ice cream and a helmet and things like that. So being at the game is, is, is a big part of the, I guess the influence for us in the game regular season wise, it may not have a big impact on it, but postseason, because I always love seeing the fans twirling the towels around and making noise whenever a batter gets two strikes on them, because that changes the feel of October. And like you said, especially in the Bronx, Yankee fans, I, I will admit playing at Yankee stadium is, is probably one of the most intimidating things for any ball player. Who's not from the, from New York. If you've never been in that type of environment and you got to come to Yankee stadium in October, and feel that energy, it's a different level of play. So we are going to miss out on that. But ultimately, you know, we're happy we got baseball back, man. You know. Yeah. Um, my thing is the nachos in the helmet. 
Oh, there, like, well, there you go. You know, I like the ice cream. I like the nachos. Right. I, I feel you. I mean, I, I like to – Yankee Stadium has a, a wide range of stuff, just as City Field does. Uh, I always enjoy, like, the, the, the primo Italian sausages with the onions and peppers. You know, that's my – thing to, to go to there. Good, it's your boy Daylight. You're now tuned in with Real Fans, Real Talk Bye, y'all. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Hi, Real playing. Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought.